In the depths of mathematical history, few figures loom as large as Al-Khwarizmi. Born in the 8th century in the heart of the Islamic world, his intellectual brilliance illuminated the path of revolutionary mathematical concepts that continue to shape our world today. Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi was born into a scholarly family in the bustling city of Khwarizm, located along the banks of the Oxus River in present-day Uzbekistan. Little is known about his early years, but historical records suggest that he was born around 780 AD into a world where knowledge was highly valued and sought after. Al-Khwarizmi's upbringing was deeply influenced by his father, who was a respected scholar and likely played a significant role in shaping his son's intellectual development. From a young age, Al-Khwarizmi showed a keen interest in mathematics and astronomy, fields that were flourishing in the vibrant cultural milieu of Khwarizm. Under his father's tutelage, Al-Khwarizmi received a rigorous education in the classical sciences of the time. He studied the works of ancient Greek mathematicians such as Euclid and Diophantus, as well as Persian and Indian scholars who made significant contributions to mathematics and astronomy. By immersing himself in these diverse intellectual traditions, Al-Khwarizmi developed a deep appreciation for the power of reason and deduction as well as a fascination with the mysteries of the cosmos. His father instilled in him not only a love for learning, but also a sense of discipline and perseverance that would serve him well in his future endeavours. As Al-Khwarizmi grew older, he began to thirst for knowledge beyond the confines of his hometown. Recognising his son's potential, his father encouraged him to seek out further education in the great centres of learning that dotted the Islamic world. Thus, with his father's blessing and the foundation of knowledge he had acquired in his youth, Al-Khwarizmi set out on a journey that would take him to the heart of the Islamic Golden Age, the illustrious city of Baghdad. It was there, amidst the bustling markets and scholarly debates of the Abbasid capital, that Al-Khwarizmi's true genius would begin to flourish, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of history. Upon arriving in Baghdad, Al-Khwarizmi immersed himself in the vibrant intellectual atmosphere of the Abbasid Caliphate. He sought out the House of Wisdom, a prestigious academy that served as a beacon of learning and scholarship in the Islamic world. The House of Wisdom was a melting pot of ideas, where scholars from diverse backgrounds congregated to exchange knowledge and engage in intellectual discourse. At the House of Wisdom, Al-Khwarizmi found himself among some of the brightest minds of his time. He eagerly participated in debates and discussions on a wide range of subjects, including mathematics, astronomy, philosophy and medicine. Through these interactions, he broadened his intellectual horizons and deepened his understanding of the world. Al-Khwarizmi's insatiable thirst for knowledge led him to study under renowned scholars and mentors who recognized his exceptional talent and dedication. He delved into the works of ancient Greek, Persian and Indian mathematicians, assimilating their insights and building upon their discoveries. Under the guidance of his mentors, Al-Khwarizmi honed his skills in mathematics and astronomy, mastering the intricacies of geometric proofs, numerical calculations and celestial observations. He devoted countless hours to studying and refining his understanding of these disciplines, laying the groundwork for his future contributions. In addition to his studies, Al-Khwarizmi also cultivated his talents as a teacher and communicator. He had a gift for explaining complex mathematical concepts in clear and accessible language, making them understandable to students and scholars alike. His lectures and writings attracted a wide audience, earning him a reputation as a leading authority in his field. As his reputation grew, Al-Khwarizmi was increasingly sought after as an advisor and consultant by scholars, officials and dignitaries. His, his expertise in mathematics and astronomy was valued not only for its practical applications, but also for its profound philosophical implications. 
In this way, Al Khwarizmi's education and scholarship laid the foundation for his groundbreaking contributions to mathematics and science. His rigorous training, combined with his natural curiosity and intellectual curiosity, propelled him to the forefront of his field and ensured his enduring legacy as one of the greatest minds of the Islamic Golden Age. Al Khwarizmi's contributions to mathematics are vast and multifaceted encompassing groundbreaking developments in algebra, arithmetic and the decimal system. His pioneering work laid the foundation for many of the mathematical principles and techniques that are still used today. Here are some of his significant contributions. Algebra al khwarizmis most enduring legacy lies in the field of algebra. His treatise Al-Khitab Al-Muqtasar Fi Hisab Al-Jabr wal muqabala which translates to the Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing, introduced systematic methods for solving linear and quadratic equations. Al Khwarizmi's innovative approach, known as Al Jabr, involved manipulating mathematical expressions by transposing terms to one side of an equation. This laid the groundwork for the symbolic manipulation of equations, marking the birth of algebra as a distinct branch of mathematics. Algorithms Al Khwarizmi's treatise on algebra also introduced algorithms for solving polynomial equations, including the famous quadratic formula. His systematic methods provided a systematic framework for solving mathematical problems, paving the way for the development of algorithms in computational mathematics. The term algorithm itself is derived from the Latinized form of his name, algorithmi, reflecting his foundational contributions to this field. Al Khwarizmi also played a pivotal role in popularizing the Indian numeral system which was based on the use of zero and the decimal system. Through his interactions with Indian mathematicians and scholars he recognized the superiority of this numerical system for mathematical calculations. Al Khwarizmi's efforts to translate and disseminate Indian numerals throughout the Islamic world helped facilitate their widespread adoption, ultimately revolutionizing mathematics and commerce. In addition to his work in algebra, Al Khwarizmi also made significant contributions to arithmetic. He wrote a treatise on arithmetic, in which he presented methods for performing arithmetic operations using the decimal system. His treatise helped standardize arithmetic procedures and laid the groundworks for the development of modern arithmetic. Al Khwarizmi's interest in astronomy led him to make contributions to trigon trigonometry, particularly in the context of spherical trigonometry. His work on spherical trigonometry was instrumental in advancing the field of astronomy, allowing astronomers to make more accurate calculations of celestial phenomena. Al Khwarizmi's contributions to mathematics were groundbreaking and far reaching shaping the course of mathematical history and laying the foundation for many of the mathematical principles and techniques that are still used today. His work exemplifies the spirit of inquiry and innovation that characterized the Islamic Golden Age and his legacy continues to inspire mathematicians and scholars around the world. When Al Khwarizmi played a role in popularizing Indian numerals, this represented a significant chapter in the history of mathematics. His efforts not only facilitated the widespread adoption of these numerals, but also helped to revolutionize mathematics, science and commerce throughout the Islamic world and beyond. Al Khwarizmi recognized the inherent advantages of the Indian numeral system, which was based on the use of zero and the decimal system. Unlike the Roman numeral system, which lacked a symbol for zero and was cumbersome for performing arithmetic operations, the Indian numeral system offered a more efficient and versatile means of representing numbers. Al Khwarizmi then went on to play a key role in translating and disseminating Indian mathematical texts that introduced the decimal system to the Islamic world. Through his translations and writings, he helped to popularize Indian numerals among scholars, mathematicians, and merchants, making them more accessible and understandable to a wider audience. His work then helped to integrate Indian numerals into Arabic script, resulting in the development of the actual Arabic numerical system. 
and this is still used today. The Arabic numerals, which are based on the Indian numeral system, replaced the cumbersome Roman numerals and became the standard for mathematical and scientific notation in the Islamic world. The adoption of Indian numerals had profound practical implications for various fields, including mathematics, science, astronomy and commerce. With the decimal system, mathematicians and astronomers were able to perform complex calculations more efficiently and accurately. Merchants and traders benefited from the simplicity and clarity of the new numeral system, which facilitated accounting, bookkeeping and commercial transactions. Al Khwarizmi's efforts to promote Indian numerals facilitated cultural exchange and intellectual dialogue between the Islamic world and other civilizations, including India. The exchange of mathematical knowledge and ideas helped to foster innovation and advancement in mathematics and science, enriching the intellectual landscape of the Islamic Golden Age. Al Khwarizmi's role in popularizing Indian numerals was instrumental in transforming the way numbers were represented and manipulated, paving the way for the development of modern arithmetic and mathematics. His contribution laid the foundation for the flourishing of mathematical scholarship and innovation during the Islamic Golden Age, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to shape the way we think about the numbers we use today. Al Khwarizmi's legacy extends far beyond his own time and continues to have a profound impact on society today. His groundbreaking contributions to mathematics, particularly in the fields of algebra and the decimal system, laid the foundation for many of the mathematical principles and techniques we are still using today. Al Khwarizmi's work continues to be studied and admired by mathematicians, scholars, and students all around the world today. His treatises on algebra and arithmetic remain foundational in the study of mathematics, serving as a source of inspiration and guidance for future generations of mathematicians and scholars. Overall, Al Khwarizmi's long lasting legacy has had a profound impact on society by shaping the way we think about and use mathematics. His contributions continue to be felt in fields ranging from pure mathematics to practical applications in science, engineering and commerce, underscoring the enduring importance of his work in the history of mathematics and human civilization. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and we'll see you at the next one.